The Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Mr. Olisa Ifejike, has affirmed that the Vice Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party and a Governor of Delta State, uh, Senator Ifejike, did not betray his River State counterpart, Mr. Yusom Wike, and the party's presidential primaries. Mr. Olisa stated on Monday uh, while speaking with newsmen at the government house in Asaba. He said that Governor Wike was the cause of his misfortune as his overbearing attitude made him lose the party primaries, adding that during consultation he never came to Delta to consult with party delegates to seek their support. While describing the position of the G5 governors as a distraction, he appealed to them to shake their swords and beat a retreat as quickly as possible to join the party's rescue mission. There was no agreement to anybody's knowledge that it was agreed that the next president must come from the south. Yes, like we know it was resolution of the forum, Southern Governors Forum. But when they returned to the, each of their parties, the parties decided otherwise, particularly the PDP said we were not going to go with that. And no member of PDP among them left the party because of that resolution. In other words, it sat them well, it sat them were with them and they stayed. So what we're hearing about betrayal, about treachery and all of that, we don't know where it's coming out again from. So we, I am trying this morning to put the record straight that <clears throat> our governor, Senator Dr. Ifan Yokoma, did not betray any agreement. No agreement to our knowledge was reached. It was only, it was only a resolution, it remained so. And back to their political parties, PDP said no. Yes, you've resolved as a group, but here in PDP, we are not going to accept that. For us to come out and be part of this contest and win, particularly, we think we should open the space. And nobody objected to it. No governor of PDP objected to it. On the endorsement of the Labour candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, by the former president, Ulusha Gobasanja, he said he exercised his constitutional rights, adding that Nigerians will vote for the best. He also advised Nigerians to avoid acts capable of truncating the nation's democratic process. So what we're seeing is a distraction. It's a distraction, and we felt that it's time that it's addressed to ask them to please stop the distraction. Even when our governor was talking about God taking charge, he still said that the G5 governors are still members of the party, and that's the way they see them, and appeal to them to please come back to the family where they belong. And that's what I'm doing this morning on behalf of the governor, that the G5 governors should know that there's a point you get that you, you, you begin to beat some retreat. We're appealing to them that that game appears to have been carried too far. They should please come back to where they belong. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.